So here we have come to Sohai Dojang, or in English, the Four Seas Restaurant. We did find some others of these exact places around the country. This one's the one in Irvine. So we love a good Chinese breakfast. So let's go inside and see how good it is. Uh, so this is what it looks like we order our breakfast. Breakfast that we enjoy. Yo Tiao, flatbread. And we have this egg, this bread. Yo Tiao inside. You can see they have some condiments here. They come with a hand sanitizer on the table. This is a lot of sugar. You can add to your soy milk, a lot of sweeter. This is a vinegar garlic. Well, straight vinegar and spicy hot sauce. So let's start with the egg cooler. That's at least that's what they call it in English. That is very tasty. It's um, it's got the yotiao inside. Chinese stuff, don't it? It's not sweet. Um, the bread on the outside is a little bit sweet, it's more like um, a crepe, but without sugar. The egg is really good, flavorful, and it's got green onion inside, so it adds a lot of flavor to it. So it's very tasty, very satisfying. Uh, next is going to the salty soy milk. You can see they come with lots of ingredients inside. It comes with the yo chow, it comes with the uh, onion, and lots of other things inside. Thank you. you can't really tell that soy milk itself. <clears throat> you can't really tell it's milk at all. And it's mostly got the salty flavor of the, the yo town of the onion and whatever else is inside. It's fairly good if that's something you're interested in. Personally, I prefer uh, the sweet soy milk. I don't usually add sugar, it doesn't need to be sweetened. But I am going to add the yo town. So I like the crunch it gives to the soy milk and then soak in. It's kind of like dipping a donut in your milk or in your coffee. That's good soy milk, but not as good as soy milk I make at home. Yeah, the Yotiao is hard to get that good quality at home. So that's a really good addition to this soy milk. So actually it's very good, very flavorful. But I should explain it. Soy milk at home I'm talking about is the one that we make fresh for our soy milk. It's very hard for any restaurant to beat that kind of soy milk. But so this is still very good milk. You see if you don't have the ability to make soy milk at your own home, but nice and hot. This is very flavorful, very good. Let's try it then. See it's very flaky, very crumbly, salty as well. You can see the sesame's on top. Very flavorful, it tastes a little buttery, but it is a very nice thing. And this is a soy egg, very kind of what it looks like. very dark because of the soy sauce they use. It's also a very tasty way to have a salty hard boiled egg. Let's see the flavor. Yeah, so that's a nice salty hard boiled egg. You have a soy flavor in there, so that's a very good egg if you like that kind of an egg. And all in all, this meal is a very good meal. We do enjoy our Chinese breakfast. So if you're missing a good Chinese breakfast, then this is a good place you can come to to get a Chinese breakfast that you don't have to try and cook with yours.